Let's get Mr. Montclair here. I need to well zoom out first. So what do you got for us? Uh, this is um, my, a web-based iCalendar application written in Seaside that I developed back in 2006 when I was a participant in the ESOC Summer Talk. Okay. The initiative for students. Oh, this is the iCal. Right? Yeah, so this is an iCal. Um, so let's start off by connecting. And what's even cooler is that actually you can pass by. You can see the login feature hasn't been finished yet. Um, so when you log in, you retrieve the, the calendar on the current week in a state that you left it. So your events are created there. The color matches out of the calendar. Um, but the link that if you disable a calendar, it hides the events, if you enable it, it comes back. A simple double click will create an event and then click on the link and you can then edit the various fields. And this is just a matter of months. You can also change the date. Passing the specifications, of course, you've got the message. You can change the calendar. And you've got so the message passing. You can change the status. Mm -hmm. and it's all in place, right? So we can draw it. So and other fields. So we see that so this one arrives there. Yeah. It has a small <laughs> three exclamation points saying it's confirmed. Or you can have the question mark for so the tentative events. Alright, so let me zoom back out then. So this, this is a standard iCal interface kind of thing? So yeah, this is um, for my calendar. It uses the ICS format that's used by Acal for Apple, Google Mail, right. uh, Google Calendar rather, Sunbird, and other applications. So you can export your calendars, you can import them into others. Yeah, it's all in CSI. This is the same. Cool. Pretty much the same client. Thank you.